Hello, good evening all of you. I am Kamakshay Musnaru. I am a freelance software developer and also open source software evangelist. I usually record so many videos related to programming and software development um, for a few of my students as well as followers in mine. So in this video I am going to talk about how to convert uh, a HTM, a word file into HTML file. So this is one of the important activities. Because uh, I met with this need uh, just recently when I was uh, thinking about converting doc of NTOC Word Microsoft Word files into HTML files because I was working on a, on a software project where uh, my client needs uh, his clients to submit uh, the files uh, as in they found DOC X file and then those files when submitted into a platform that platform will convert that into HTML because this, this was just like an online account. So anybody of you who are engaging in some online activity, online academic activity just like um, edupreneurs, edupreneurship and uh, but usually in some websites whenever we, um, it is uh, so evident like if you are an academic in academics, uh, when academics submits their word documents uh, into journals, journal, uh, you know, today journals has a lot of uh, you know, submission, uh, very big submission systems where authors submit word files and they will be converted into HTML format. So now, now the question is, how to convert this, uh, you know, diverse X files and suppose if you are a Python developer, then how can we handle this through Python? Okay, so this is my GitHub page and I have a lot of software, uh, free and open source software. So go to this place and pick uh, one of the software. They're all free and open source. And now in Python, the solution there are so many ways to convert uh, DivoCX into HTML uh, file formats. I found a way uh, which is a bit, uh, you know, uh, quite interesting. Then I have done uh, this activity with the help of a couple of packages and. And I found a package called Mammoth, and that's really uh, a very good uh, because I've done uh, Mammoth in Python. If you search Mammoth Python, then it will take you to Python packaging index, IP, usually. So this is uh, you know familiar to any Python programmer. So this is how you have to install this package Mammoth, and there is a wonderful documentation here. And uh, the document that I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing, like you know, whatever is written here, I'm just going to do it in uh, in uh, Python editor. You can choose, it is of your choice. Edit, as far as editor is concerned, it is of your choice. And how you have to install this, uh, Python is installed in my system, like if I use Python version, so it is 3.10.4, something like that, okay. And Mammoth, you have to install like this, pip install Mammoth, something like that. I already installed, so I'll show you, pip show <coughs> Mammoth. So I'll just uh, install just a couple of uh, seconds before, before a couple of seconds. And this is how you have to install packages. Uh, if you have a plain vanilla Python in your yeah. you know, computer, if you have Anaconda, that's a different thing. That's all up to you. Like, I have the base Python in my computer, as I have shown you, this is 3.10 version, subversion 10 kind of. And then I installed, um, you know, Mammoth package with the help of. Now I'm going to open IDLE, which I like. You can use Spider, Jupyter, Jupyter, or and there are hundreds of, uh, there are a few tens of, and close to a dozen editors. And I, my favorite editor is IDLE because I'm a teacher or academic. Or <laughs> I use integrated de development learning environment, something like that. Now, I already have a, um, a file in my local file system that is test. Okay, so I'm going to show you that. What is this word file? This word file has a, this is just a heading kind of thing. I increase the, I'll change this two times. I'm not sure whether memo really converts into. Okay, this shows. And there is something introduction doesn't matter like you know this is a lorem ipsum some dummy text 
I just want to experiment with the help of few ingredients of the word file, namely table. I mean, for my project, uh, I have some, you know, headings, subsections, sub subsections. I can also add a subsection here, 1.1, table 1, which is, it cannot be a section actually. I can say tables, tables, and then uh, um, table 1, this is some table, <laughs> doesn't matter. And now I can also add here one section, 1.2, this is section 2, and this is uh, image or picture or figure, usually we call figure, right? Okay. And I also have, I want to test because in my text files there will be a lot of, uh, you know, footnotes and end notes, something like that. So I have one footnote and also one end note with an entry and with, with a, a statement which distinguishes the main text with the end note, something like that. And uh, what I don't have in this word file is a reference. References are not there, but you can see also. I'm saving this. Now what happens, I have in my IDLE, right? And now I have to go to this uh, folder. That's how if you if you are watching this video, I'm sure you are Python. You should be a Python programmer or developer. I assume that you know the fundamentals of Python. If you don't, I have so many videos in my YouTube channel. You can just uh, sometimes what happens when you you know you you will have ideally here in right click options, but I didn't un I didn't install Python that way. That's why I have to open ideally first, and then I have to go to that. Uh, this is my, you know, uh, project folder. Now I use a module called OS, import OS, OS current, um, current directory, uh, okay, get uh, current directory, current working directory. So now I'm in my Python home directory. I have to change this OS, um, I think uh, change in directory, I guess. Yeah, change directory. And here I need to um, now OS list directory. So you have to know whether I'm in the or OS uh, get current uh, working directory. Yeah. So I'm in that directory. And you see, I have this. I'm in the directory where my text file is there. Otherwise, it is not there. Because or we can use paths. Anything that we can create path variable if you want, or you can just use raw paths in your code. Doesn't matter, it's all up to you. Now, I, only to make safe or play safe, I am in the I'm going to that directory, walking into that directory to keep myself safe, and my code is free and slender. Now, see, I'm in the directory where I have it. So, now I'm going to import the major activity comes now import memos. You can just leave like this. I am using uh, alias as empty or empty h something like that. Now um, I need to convert this uh, you know doc uh, file into raw text and that is going to be I use result. I'm going to create an object called result memos. I can convert I convert to HTML. Now I can straight away use test.tscx. Okay. So instead of uh, going to the path you mentioned, if you are not in that directory, you have to use path here. Something like, you know, C colon or D colon, uh, backward slash, something like that. So now this result has got uh, something called text. If you want, you can see that. Type uh, there's a dot value. I guess. There is a property called value that is a string. So it is just a kind of. Now we are going to write that into so this string object is nothing but a html with all tags quotes something like that so in python we have um, a context manager i don't know like you know with a statement open i have to choose some sort of name for my html file i call output is sufficient dot html and then in write mode so that is how we should uh, here comes the magic actually. If you you just have the I think I forgot an inverted comma here. Yeah. I think you just you have to use encoding, some sort of uh, you know we have to choose UTF. If you don't have this, 
it is not possible for you you know some text format or I don't know 8 that is what you will have to as HTML file okay yeah. now HTML file now HTML file dot um, write okay write what do you like to write this te result text Res sorry result value result value okay let's see now I guess it's done so let's go back to the directory I think I have output dot HTML yes beautiful right isn't it now this is adding I think uh, the size is not uh, being uh, affected and I've increased the size of the heading but that is not now we have a section introduction and then we got uh, so my footnote is appearing okay and then um, so footnote and note both of them are printed at the same place maybe because they are close in the document also um, I think end note comes here right so this is the end note and this is if you press on this end note you will be the same if you press on footnote you will go to the place of the footnote then you got the table subsection but uh, some dot appears here I think it is uh, kind of list object I guess so instead of subsection it is it is section actually table it's a one dot one right so that one dot one is something else happened here and then images again uh, this is a subsection so subsections are not working in mammoths as of now in through my code but i will have to figure out so how to make uh, take care of the subsections as well as uh, tables also you don't have this is a raw table actually it's a tabular it looks like a table but uh, not the way uh, that look so this is how you can convert um, at least you know the figures are there figure is there and the tables are there and uh, at least some text is there but we'll uh, i will try to talk about how to add formatting to this text Mm, and make it a full-fledged HTML file as it looks inside Word file probably in my next video. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the new content. Please subscribe to my video channel. Press like button and comment. Thank you.